trickier tools we're going to use, and we don't use it that often, but we will with this very first project when you come into class tomorrow. It's called the Table Layout Panel. Uh, this allows you to organize the different objects on the program, labels and buttons, into a nice, neat little uh, table. So I'm going to drag it in, and you see we have some different options. I'm going to walk you through how we're going to use this in class. You could sit here and manually add a row or add a column, but what you see in doing that is that it's not coming out even. So this little button here allows us to see our different options. And we're going to go into the final option called Edit Rows and Columns. And this gives us the ability to change the size of all of our columns so they can be even, or if we want to stagger them, we have the different options on how to do that. I'm going to keep with my 3x3. Three three. Actually, no, I'm going to add a fourth, keep it nice and even. So I can go through and change these all individually to 25% to make them even. Or I can click on the first one. I'm going to hold the shift key and click on column 4. So that highlights all of them. And then go to percent and change it to 25%. All four of my columns, remember, columns are up and down and go left to right. Rows go across and are up and down. Go back in. I'm going to do the same for rows. So I switch here and show from columns and rows. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a row to keep everything even. Click on the first one. Hold the shift key. Click on the fourth one. Hit percent. 25. Excellent. Now my table is nice and even. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Notice how when I change the size, it keeps the dynamics that I set it to. That's what we want. And then I'm going to go over, I'll drag in a label. Just put the label there for right now. And I'll do a button. And I'm going to show you real quick how we do this. All you have to do to put it in an object in a particular cell is simply drag it over and let go. Now, notice how it sticks to that top left corner. That's what we don't want to see completely happen. I'm going to want these to be centered. I click back on my table layout panel. Notice how we did not change the name of it. If we want to, we could call it music layout panel. Since we do want to keep the full name, I'll add the word table in there. So it's music table layout panel. And this is the option we're going to. We're going to change the anchor options. Because right now the text label 1 is anchored in the top and the left. So notice when I click on the anchor that those two are the ones that are solid. So if I just let go of the left one and hit enter. It should just anchor to the top now. So I could drag it in whatever position. It's still anchoring to the top and the left. I have to change this on the label as well. I'm going to take off, go back to the table layout here. I'm going to take it off right here so it's not anchoring at all. And then I also have to go into the individual label and change that as well. I can do the same trick I did with highlighting the rows and columns. Click on this, hold shift, click on this, and I should be able to change the anchor options for both so that the objects will now be centered. There you go. And of course, if you wanted to change it to bottom, you just click on the bottom and the right. But we, for most of the purposes of tables in this class, we're going to want things centered. And there you have it.